Yo, good morning everybody and welcome to the stream of today where as you can see in the title I will try to climb up to the 250 crowns currently at 196 so I'm almost at the milestone 9, 10 cards of the H Just Bringers which allows me I guess to uh, somewhat get this card at uh, level 4 and then I'll have the milestone 10 for the 200 fusion stones and uh, with plenty of uh, gold and rubies to convert to coins to get it so let's find out if it uh, will be sufficient and if i can do it with a nice win rate currently playing with this deck it's doing pretty well i think basically everybody at the higher leagues play with uh, gift of the wise winter pact twilight prowlers sadly not level five but hey i think it's strong enough and a lot of cheap cards to survive and hopefully I am uh, the second turn player, get Gift of the Wise and win. I think that's uh, how it's uh, going on in their uh, upper leagues now. Hopefully I will find opponents and then uh, I can show you guys how strong this deck can be. And what's up, Wasimo? Also welcome to you. Thumbs up and a handshake. So basically, what we want to do, I think I want to cycle Ubas. Ubas is good, but not that good. Because I don't want to use green prototypes on a 6 strength unit. So I think I will go for the value. And uh, basically, I'm uh, just going to destroy everything. I don't need to fight for front, I guess. I'm also second player, so I have to cycle a lot of my cards to uh, get to Gift of the Wise very soon. It's a bit bad that I already have Twilight Prowlers. I think I will keep it. I will uh, cycle it out. Probably should have cycled it out at the beginning. So next turn I will play Conflicted Drakes, Brother in Arms, Psych Out Lawless Hurt. Because I want uh, more mana cards. Ooh, 61 points. And what's up, kitty? Welcome with Stars D mode. Yeah, if you don't have coins and you're not gonna buy the Ruby Packs to convert points, then. Uh, you probably have to wait. So let's take out this one. I'm just gonna do it like this, so Brothers in Arms also uh, triggers its uh, tokens on the back. now oh this is a bad hand so basically i want to cycle some militia and get something strong some militia isn't good for dealing the finishing blow but he's playing ironclad so i probably have a lot more time than i would have done against another winter pack player it's um uh, why i did Summer Militia, it cycles very quick. It's also just 5 strength on the board. So most likely your opponent needs to deal with it. Otherwise... Um, oh, it's just already a win. <coughs> and this is why you uh, play Gift of the Wise. And also use it to cycle quicker through uh, Gift of the Wise. Because it's the most important thing to do. Because on basically, if you don't win on the seven mana turn, then your opponent wins on the seven mana turn. I think 90, 80 percent of the matches I've been playing so far with this winter pack deck, it just decided at the seven mana turn. And well, some militia is a bit tricky. 
But uh, yeah, I think it helps with the cycle and also helps with the early game because you need to uh, deny your opponent any front. So there it is. Age Dust Bringers. 10 grannies. With like some arcane magic. Ouch, 500 coins. So now we're gonna feel it. Yeah, Prowler is a uh, must in, uh, include. And what's up, uh, Nico and Devin Sarzinski? So we already been playing for two years. That's a uh, veteran. Um, I think if you want to reach diamond really bad, then I think it's maybe the best to focus on one deck, leveling the cars. Yeah, and what Kitty also says. If you join the Stormbound Discord channel, then a lot of people will uh, give you advice on your current decks you are using. So then uh, you can tweak around, play around with their feedback. I think that helps a lot. And well, if you, I understand that you want to go to the diamond, right? So you get all the end of season rewards, and maybe even to diamond one, because then you get the free legendary uh, at the end of each month. So I think if you want to really go for it, then go to the Discord, show your channel, and my advice would be. Uh, well, depending on the kingdom you are playing, maybe just pick one. Pick a kingdom you really like, which is can also be very strong. I think with each kingdom you can reach the um, diamond. I think most people use uh, to start to get in diamond more aggressive decks. So that's uh, like a uh, swarm, swarm rush works pretty well. Also, I've. But when I went into Diamond, I was uh, playing uh, Ironclad Aggro. Alright, against Rain88. It's like a Twilight. Right, now we have to keep the Gift of the Wise for Eternity in our hand. This is not aggressive. It's always a bit scary to put green prototypes in. But brothers in arms only for six mana. Yeah, might have been better. But he's the second player, so most likely uh, it's gonna be trouble. This is also annoying because he can play Uvas now. Maybe I should have been playing it more defensively. Like if it survives, then potentially my Ubas or things are on my front. See now he has like 13 strength for five mana, which is annoying. Probably gonna keep everything. So, uh, most likely what I want to do is play Gifted and Conflicted Drakes, I imagine. I might get an uh, Summon Militia if I cycle Ubas, so that would also be good. But let's see what this guy is going to uh, pull out. Yeah, at this point it's getting uh, tricky. I need to deal with this uh, cabin girls. What I could do... But that's just not enough meta. Could have been if this was uh, Lala's Hurt. Could play Conflicted Drakes. Nah, it's too tricky. I think I will go for the Ubas just to deny him... Uh, deny him this. So I got gifted. Oh. 
Pretty something here. All right. So now it's getting. Uh, most likely, he's gonna win. He doesn't even need to uh, have give of the wise seven mana. Like clean prototypes. Yeah, you can just run in everything. That's what you uh, always want to be second player. Second players are uh, the winning players in this brawl. And otherwise, I could uh, cycle so we get the green prototypes or most likely competitive drakes. Yep. So that's uh, it's a pity. That's how this brawl goes. You go uh, first, then uh, you are in a big disadvantage because your opponent can also react on you. All right, <coughs> a lot of chat in the chat. Oh yeah, the bots is also really a smart trick. <laughs> yeah, the elders are really nice. I hope they become available uh, for everybody else very soon. So everybody can have some fun uh, playing with them. Uh, your question, did you create Brawl for high level players that have a lot of coins and do you think you might have another game mode eventually for other ranked players? Um, well, did you create Brawl for high level players? I didn't create anything. I have worked at Paladin Studios for a while, for two years. And well, I just uh, recently quit, and I haven't been uh, much available for uh, the whole brawl, etc. I have given my feedback to the Stormbound team, and if I read the Q and A from uh, Arano, like the designer of Stormbound, I think he once said that it was uh, more for the late game, especially the 500 coins matches like what we are doing right now it's not for beginning players like i think for the starting players it's more uh all well, the first few milestones are that expensive you play like 20 coins on 30 and the first milestone is even free so you can just have some fun there hopefully but i think for these rewards it's also a coin sink like if you have a collection of cards all up to five you convert all the duplicates to coins you get a lot of coins you don't you aren't very uh, incentivized to buy books anymore because you just buy books and get duplicates so basically you lose gold so you just gonna save up coins and i'll spend them on a brawl getting the new cards getting the fusion stones especially the fusion stones are uh, really neat to get all the remaining cards that you have on level 4 and upgrade those to level 5 or you can upgrade for in, this, in these um, brawls the new uh, elders so I think that's it a bit yeah 500 coins it's uh, quite expensive so you especially don't want to lose but it's also 50-50% chance to start second player You can win as first player, obviously. It's nice if I face an uh, opponent who is uh, playing Ironclad. Then no opponent's 7 mana turn isn't that scary. But that's, uh, I think, uh, I hope that answers your question a bit. And, well, I'm not sure, right? It's only how I interpret it. The things I read on uh, Discord. What the Rhino had said. So don't uh, ping me on it. Yeah, these uh, waiting times are uh, sometimes a bit tedious. And I'm happy that a lot of people are watching and chatting. That it helps a lot when uh, to fill up this empty space. Also a good time to talk about this little guy, since my farewell gift uh, 
uh, vanaf de Calyx I had. Just uh, made a dream, dream model of Edric the Fierce. Like the new legendary for the knights, neutral one. And made 3D model and uh, 3D printed it. That it's, uh, was a nice gift. As uh, some additional gifts as well. Yeah, no, it, uh, it's not that I went out of the Paladin. It was on my own accord. I just wanted to uh, work closer. Uh, work closer at home. I needed to travel three hours a day to get to work and get back home. So that was uh, something that took a lot of energy out of me. And I improved a lot of uh, things at the company where I work at Paladin. And uh, well, basically I needed also a new challenge. I wanted to go a bit more technical because I did the quality assurance. And uh, well, there are various paths you can go. You can go more of the management or you can go more technical. And since, uh, well, I really want to go more technical, but then there needs to be space for it and projects. So hopefully I can do that uh, closer at home. Thanks, man. You seem like a great guy. Uh, not sure if it is uh, for sale. It would be nice if they uh, have the merchandise where you can uh, buy these 3D models. Like, uh, pretty neat. Like, also uh, a bottom. It's not that exciting, obviously. This is his face. What's uh, uh The backside. I get it just neatly uh, created. And also some text on the other side. So that's uh, fun. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. Could be a nice business. To make uh, 3D models and uh, ship them out. Yo, hello, Min Sully. Welcome to the stream. Thanks, Jaden Trout, and uh, good night. Maybe I will see you uh, in the morning when it's my evening. Yeah, definitely. I hope I will get a get a well get a nice job where I live. Yeah, I'm not sure how many people are playing. It's also Saturday morning. Maybe not the best time. I think in the evenings for Europe. It's always pretty good. And we have a lot of players going. Like all America is still sleeping. And it is Asian uh, evening. Hey, what's up, Basilmer? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, well, that's. Uh, shouldn't matter. But let's just uh, join the queue again. Yes, I will do my best and hopefully, uh, well, if it's another game company who also has nice uh, games that I can stream, then I will definitely do it. And I think for now we'll just continue also with Stormbound, looking into different kind of games to play on stream, but it's a bit awkward because I'm not used to play anything else on stream besides Stormbound. And Stormbound is a more nice, relaxing, I can overthink it and the games I've been streaming so far. It's uh, or the, like last time was uh, Hyperlight Drifter, so it's maybe more reactive based, and then it's just really awkward to stream it. Oh, nice! Thanks, man. Ah, the Dota Underlords. Yeah, that also looks pretty weak, and also a game that uh, fits my uh, fits a bit more my uh, playstyle, I guess. would also love to uh, play a game that's just upcoming and then it becomes big and then you were at the start of the, of the game. <clears throat> like when I started with streaming for Stormbound, I really hoped it would grow and uh, maybe get a nice spot in the shadow of Hearthstone or something. 
I don't think it has uh, grown that much yet. Oh man, this takes way too long. Let's do an... Uh, let's also finish my quest. Basically, we need to play a lot of spells. What kind of deck do we have that has a lot of spells? Summon... Unhealthy. Confinement and healthy and summon. It's also, it's also a fun deck to play with. Certification. Potion of growth. I don't really have a lot of decks with a lot of spells. It's also uh, upgrade. Just an elder man. Let's see how far we can get it. Yo, what's up, Kino? Welcome back. Well, basically, I need a level 4 card, otherwise, I cannot play with it. So now I got an incentive to uh, get this guy on uh, max level. He has not upgraded to level 5 yet. Because if I can use my uh, fusion stones for other cards, it will also be really nice. Yeah, I played chess in the in the past. That was really fun to do. But I would like to play a bit more game, so maybe uh, Dota Underworlds. Uh, would be pretty neat. I'm not gonna play that big old. Fight me an opponent, you Suri. It's always better to go for Ruby's quest than for coins, right? Uh, it depends on what you want to do. I think if you are on the um, on the Bronze League, Iron League. Like the beginning, and you want to just have all your, you basically want to build your card collection. I would definitely go for uh, rubies, so you can get all uh, legendaries, legendaries on level one. Well, your other cards are also still level one or level two, like your rares. Then it's uh, it's really good to have those le to collect those legendaries. It's also fun to experiment with them. I think if you go a bit more platinum and you have like upgraded your decks to level 4 level 5 and your legendaries are basically level 1 or level 2 then I would uh, advise if you want to reach to diamond to focus on uh, getting the remaining card copies and uh, upgrade one deck and get very high with it so you can get a nice end of season chest and if you are at my stage of the game where most of your cards are level 4 or level 5, then you definitely want to go for rubies because you need the mythic books. Yeah, with Eren and Gift of the Wife. I've been. Uh, I've, I've faced against a com few components, components who did that, but not sure if I want to do it. It's uh, quite a risk to change my deck now since the deck is doing pretty well I'm a bit scared if I change it up then I will lose 500 coins each time <laughs> it's quite expensive so I'm not gonna gonna change it right now yeah, I want to do it uh, the beginning of uh, of the next brawl oh what's up Tirantabane swarm I'm gonna say I'm gonna win and then uh, probably gonna win. So I'm gonna place some militia here. So I keep a little, little bit of front. And yo, what's up, Mr. Chinese name or Japanese name? You should still uh, say how I can pronounce your name. Otherwise, I will lose. 
need to uh, say the Chinese Japanese characters. That will also help if I know what kind of character it is. I'm not that uh, literate. Ooh, that's also a good card. Two mana, seven strength. But is it good enough? Nope. So I will definitely play Sweet Cap Kittens. Well, I'm playing all my uh, two mana cards. I'm gonna cycle this one for four mana card. So I'm a bit lucky here because I want to use this to keep my mana curve efficient. See, now I get freaking Elderman, so it's five. So I got lucky there. Do you want to friendly equals for quests? I can do that. But I really hope I can play some uh, Brawl. That will be the uh, best for me. Getting to those uh, 250 coins with the waiting queues. Could take some time. So now I'm uh, basically uh, super, super happy. Because I can just do this. Basically, you're gonna do this because it shoots four damage. So I get one more uh, remaining HP. I just want to. If I get five, it's 12, so then Prowlers will be killed. Let's do that. Probably can uh, clean this up with one card. Yeah, true. The 10 minute waiting time isn't good. But I don't think the 10 minute waiting time will uh, go anywhere. So this is annoying. If it was here or there, then I could just run inside his base. Yeah. Or are we gonna really YOLO it? I think we're gonna do it like this. Guess, wait for the gift of the wise. <laughs> Hope it will sideways so he doesn't get any movement at all. Yeah, he got a bit lucky there. But it was way off curve, but since I had a really good beginning, it doesn't uh, threaten my uh, base. So that's pretty sweet. And now I just win. Because <laughs> I got these guys, man. Cannot lose. It's unlosable. And this guy doesn't always, doesn't block my uh, base either. Yes. This is uh, Edric the Fierce. From uh, it's my farewell gift from Paladin. <laughs> I imagine you want a figurine of Ella. Uh, this is a game. Because it is 12. So let's just first clear this one out. This green prototype, so we so just walk in straight line. And that's the match already. And that's why you want to give up the wise on your seven mana turn. Because that's uh, an almost guaranteed win. Yeah, good for the quests as well, a little bit. Yeah, just gonna pretend I'm Edric the Fierce during this stream. So I can just point the cam on it. Instead of on me. Didn't did my hair anyway, so... This way I get some... Uh, 
I didn't look like someone who just uh, rolled out of bed. Yep. Yeah, I got enough coins. So I'm gonna make it. I just hope uh, the waiting queues are uh, gonna be okay. <clears throat> That's the green. Feels a little bit bad to play against people with 16 base HP. But imagine these guys aren't paying 500 coins to win. Oh man, this sucks for him. I'm gonna definitely gonna recycle Twilight Prowess at the beginning. Probably don't want to do this. But then again, I do want to do this so I can play Brothers in Arms. I put this side. I mean, did I just misplay? I wanted to play it right here, and then I misclick. Oh well. Oh well. I'm second player. So, uh, I hope it will be fine. I think it will be fine. It's just gonna be a stump. Let's keep all the cards so I can play these. So I got summon militia. Yeah, this is already this guy. If he plays a level three lawless herd, then it's uh, nee. It's not in his favor, I guess. I don't think this guy is at milestone nine. Yeah, this doesn't help either. It's basically uh, scam. the handshake. I hope he didn't lose too many gold. So my final thoughts of brawl. I will definitely do a video as a review. I have so many things I want to make video out of. It's just insane. But uh, to give a short summary, or short summary depending on how long this uh, queue will uh, hold. So far, I really enjoy playing Brawl. Like, it's definitely uh, fun to play with uh, weird game rules. There was something I'm uh, trying to uh, basically push. When I started at Paladin, and we also saw uh, things like Hearthstone doing the brawl. I was like, oh man, how much fun would it be if we also have things like this in uh, Stormbound. So it's pretty sweet to uh, have those, uh, uh, finally, a new game mode in. So, um, yeah, that's the fun part, and I hope it will last, and... They just keep out cranking uh, new brawls so we can uh, play with different game styles and use different cards and have some fun. I would definitely uh, uh, think it's quite expensive, obviously, but it is expensive if you want to reach milestone 10. But then uh, you also get like 200 fusion stones. So there are rewards attached to it. If you really want it, then you uh, have to go for it. Like if you do not want to uh, buy uh, the big ruby packs and convert them to coins, I think you have to uh, accept the fact that you have to save a month or something until you can reach uh, uh, the highest milestone. So obviously as a free-to-play player, it is... Uh, it is different because you need to accept that you cannot have everything. But I think as a free-to-play player, my list myself, for a long, long time, you have to accept it. If you are free-to-play, if you play any game, any game of Supercell, it takes a long time. 
to reach anywhere anyways. I just started playing Mario Tour and that game is also uh, as free to play play you just need to have fun with the game and accept that you don't get anything or that your progress is way slower and you are in there for the long run if you want to collect everything. So that's uh, something. What I hope for Brawl is that it is uh, getting also a way that you can play it without rewards, without the fees. That will be awesome. You can do friendly battles with Brawl or something on equals or current levels. Just like we can do with normal game mode. I think that will be super awesome. And I don't, I hope it won't uh, bother the monetization for uh, the Brawl game mode. But yes, that's, I, know it's, I don't know, right? But I'm not sure uh, what the Stormbound team is doing. So, um, <laughs> like, if I worked there, I, pro I probably knew. And then I couldn't tell you, and now I'm not there anymore, so I cannot even tell you if I knew it. Yeah, I think it's a bit, uh, well, that it is unbalanced, I completely agree. I think that's also part of the charm that I like about it. That it is unbalancing. Some cards become ridiculously good, but then the Brawl meta is only 4 days. So if the Brawl meta is only 4 days, then it's maybe just fine that it can be really broken. What I really would like is that, uh, for example, if the matchmaking, if that was more equalized, that would be very helpful. Like sometimes at the start of a brawl, I'm facing people with 11 base health. Well, and then I'm happy that those uh, players don't pay any gold to face against me. But it feels a bit bad because, well, whatever I put in my deck, I will still win because their deck is just uh, level 1s and level 2s. Yeah, let's uh, find out what the uh, Stormbound team is doing about the uh, about fees. Like this guy. Yours, fee 99. It's 14 base HP. Well, I'm happy that I can get four, 5 crowns, but I expect this guy isn't uh, the happy salmon about it. So basically, let's uh, let's play on curve. Play the big boys first. Might cycle into uh, cycle back into it. <laughs> that would be nice. Well, I give my feedback to uh, Arano and the team, and now it's more uh, requests. Like they. Uh, think about it, but I also have not in the loop anymore of the things that are going on. So this is nice. Probably will play Twilight Prowlers, Psycho Summer Militia. Yeah, definitely Twilight Prowlers is uh, <laughs> so awesome with 5 movement. It's just insane. Or maybe it's like a similar show right now. Psycho conflicted Drakes. Maybe I'm not gonna win now. Let's see. 
<laughs> Just trying to snip the opponent's HP, like bats. Yeah, this guy isn't at the uh, milestone five or higher. <laughs> yeah, I shall not play faction cards. Those thingies. Alright, let's continue. 217 already. Now we're slowly getting there. And no, that's many more times. On the first day, I've uh, lost plenty of times because I uh, didn't want to play Winter Pact. Because I didn't want to have a Gift of the Wise deck, so I tried something out with uh, Shadowfen, with uh, Witches of the Wild, and uh, Blood Ministers. It worked pretty well, those cards on level 5, because you can convert a lot. But then at the end, it's. Uh, at the end, it's just like. You're gonna face Gift of the Wise and you lose. Yeah. The point then I just uh, have to convert to Winterpack as well. I want to win eventually, so uh, that's when I switched the next day. 70 times. Yeah, I think maybe a bit more. But I think with this deck, if I face real opponents. Uh, like let's say 18 uh, HP and higher, I think I have around a win rate of 60-65%. But then facing also these guys with 14 HP, that uh, skyrockets it obviously. But <laughs> I'm happy for my 500 coins. Hope he doesn't have hard feelings. Yep, that's basically it. There's no... Uh, there's not a lot of wiggle room to experiment. If you are a milestone then, then you need to be sure that you're playing a deck that you know. That you know how to play. Because while well, losing is only one crown. So that's only a fifth of the rewards you're getting. And getting 15 crowns with 50 losses. That's like 500 coins multiplied by 50. That's like 25,000 coins. And that's a lot. That's a lot of coins, 25,000. Um, I think you can have a competitive deck without Gift of the Wise if your opponent is also uh, not playing Gift of the Wise. Because basically you cannot defend against Gift of the White. Because you can just play multiple big guys. But you can have you can get an unlucky cycle. But if you know a bit what you're doing and then you're cycle and you have at least like a 10 mana turn and 7 mana turn. And that's just most of times just enough. So I don't think if you want to reach milestone 10, then you'd basically 100% you're gonna play a Gift of the Wise deck. So many opponents did I face who started second. And they just, I mean, even if I had a really good start, so basically my, I had board control, maybe I had like plus eight, plus nine units on the board. So I had a significant advantage. His turn starts, gift of the white, play three big boys, and you're gone. Oh nice, new match. Woohoo! I really hate green prototypes. The first hand, this first player against the winter pack. This makes me a happy salmon. Let's play it like this. Maybe I get Ubas. And the next question is also interesting to see how it is. 
Yeah, I really like it to see the leaderboard. Like for example, uh, there's now now a gay and now a guy named One Curtis on Discord, who was just basically always playing it in the top uh, leagues. And since this update, he joined the uh, ranks. And now we can see his uh, name on the. Now he's also joined Discord. And you can talk again. Talk with him. Come on, dude. Oh, you can come enter now. Not sure, if I already did my emotes. Yeah. The funny thing is that. Well, basically, we have four communities. Let's first play my turn. Play it like this so you cannot play Ubas. And I will play it like this so you can play Ubas. Maybe. Yeah, no Ubas. No Ubes. No Ubes the Babbits. Yeah. Yeah. Jump bird. Soons, soons, soons. Anyways. What I was talking about, we have like four communities, and that's the well, the biggest one is Discord, and I think Discord is a bit separate because we have the uh, like the big official Discord server, and then we have like sub servers there. Because like I think the Chinese have their own uh, Discord, the Italians have their own Discord, and then we also have. Uh, have the popular eagle with his own Discord server. <clears throat> so let's now do it like this. And I recently started my own Discord server as well. But it's uh, just for fun and experimenting. But it's nice to chat also about uh, people there. So, like Discord is scattered a bit. Then we have the Kong forums. So like the original publisher of Stormbound. And then we have Reddit. And then we have the Facebook. And the Facebook is... Uh, not sure how big Facebook is. But then... Uh, it is a spot where uh, people are, are are chatting with each other. Right, this is a quick game. So those that are basically... Uh, the four communities, and we have uh, small things like uh, YouTube, where like uh, the Papa the Eagle, Frostcom, me, and a couple of others also make videos, like Artist Rue and uh, Casasar Show and Garsley. So there are a couple of people also playing uh, there and have comments and have chats, interactions. So I would also say that maybe it's a community. What do you think the next Brawl gimmick will be? I have no clue. Like now we have seen uh, two more movements for neutrals. Previous one is all spells for uh, two mana less. So I guess we're gonna see something with strength. It will be all cards or neutral cards, that's for sure. So, because most likely we're gonna get a neutral elder again. So we're gonna get some uh, neutral buff and I guess strength. Could be like all cards, all units get a plus one strength or plus two strength maybe plus two because the number two has been already in two of two brawls <laughs> yeah that would really be crazy double its uh, strength then i think the movers will still be uh running wild 
if all the if that would happen yo glock jones a swarm player good luck to him basically we want a two mana card we're not getting it so that way we gotta play just uh mr tracking elder hello kitty Kitten on the screen. Hello. Hello. Say hello to the camera. Hello. I'm also playing Stormbound. So I didn't probably forget that I was also playing Stormbound. Uh, that her, her name was uh, Lucia. Yo, what's up? Goodbye, kitty. Uh, let's focus on this as well. Cheers. Yes, and those were my two kittens. They're so cute. I should do a stream more often with them. That I will get a lot more followers because everybody loves kittens. <laughs> yeah, the cat wants to play with the felines. Crazy kittens. Cannot win yet. I will definitely psych out green prototypes. And I keep Ubas. Because that's awesome. I will just play defensively. I'm gonna play it blind here. Bouncing hippo! Boing. Bouncing islands. That can also be a new race. Sorry for the weird sound effects. Interesting. Someone playing in heroic soldiers. Wait, it's the end. Boing, boing. Yes. Okay, that's why people. Uh, just what happens? This is just what happens. Almost there. 23. Let's also put the. Uh, Get in TV on. So now there's Kid in TV. Everybody likes Kid in TV. Right, Tom X27. This is gonna be a real match. When I'm second player and I have Give of the Wife. 
So I just shouldn't really screw up. Cheers. Uh, yep. And enjoy your lunch. Oh, this guy is giving up. Easy. I think I will go stream with my kittens more often now. She's so cute. Mm. Oops. Too fo not focused anymore. Yay, we gotta find a match. Are you super happy? I am super happy. What we're gonna do? Let's just put Kevin Gills in. He's <clears throat> also a winter pack player, but I'm second player, so I have a big advantage. Oh, Lich Summoners. Interesting choice. I will definitely uh... uh... maybe for Uba's next turn. It's also uh, it. Just going for the kill. Say what? Well, now I'm a set panda. Did I just cycle away? No. I did not. I might have lost right here. Yeah, super scary. Is he gonna win with the frozen core because he has now nine mana? It might be enough to kill me. With this one additional. But it's good, only one movement. Yes, I won. I won. I'm not sure, but there's a big chance I've. Yeah. And he's even attacking. What does this guy think he's doing? I have a quest to play winter pack cards and spells. So let's do it. <laughs> yeah. And it's gone. Sweet. 13 crowns to go. Last matches were pretty uh, 
Easy wins. Noise. I Jilly, welcome. Mr. Swarm, 15 base HP. I'm gonna wreck you. I'm gonna wreck you for five rounds. To choose, that's all of them. Hit one. I'm a bit scared. Let's uh, play it like this. If he has uh, conflicted breaks, otherwise, it could be like an infinite path. <laughs> Interesting. Also, a sweet cap kittens. Lol. Hoping for this one already. And we'll just think this one out. And green prototypes right in the base. Now the Prouders is enough. I also have Kevin Gills and Lawless. Alright, so I think this is an easy win again. Like his levels aren't that high. It's a pity for him to face me. <clears throat> but we're getting close. Right, Lucia? So let's uh, win already. But I'm getting closer. I'm also getting closer. I will definitely stop once I reach uh, 250. So we face again as a Ran Ouwe Hunt. Ran Ouwe Hunt. Might be a Dutch guy because I can pronounce his name. Let's cycle out Twilight Priorities as quick as possible. So hopefully we can get lucky and get that one uh, in our hand for Twilight. Or we take Gift of the Wise. So here we are. Probably gonna win against the 14 base HP. Most likely. Unless he has a, a god hand or whatever. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cycle uh, tracking Elderman and be greedy. And it works. So we have a lot of units on the board. So my Ubas will definitely get an, uh, one unit type combo off. And for the next turn, we have Sweet Cap Kittens and Cabin Girls, which are pretty strong. And it's already go over. So, uh, super exciting celebration with Lucia. Are you happy, Lucia? Thinks he is. So, three more crowns to go. Playing the spells. Summer Militia, which is nice. And, uh... Ooh, alright. So here we are. This might be our final match. 
against Solarm 3 Winter Pack player 17 base HP. So this is gonna be something like a real match. Uh, for now, let's cycle uh, tracking Elderman. We're not really lucky. But then uh, things happen. I was hoping for a 2 mana cost card. And we are also the first player. So he always have uh, the advantage of Gift of the Wise. So this might be not even a win. Depending on what kind of levels he has. He has 17 base HP. So we might get uh, lucky as like level 4 cards and I can keep some units on the board and uh, win it that way. We can also do some boing 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 to uh, favor the gods. <laughs> he needs to have a really bad hand. But he isn't. So that sucks for us. I think for now I'm gonna play uh, on curve. I'm not gonna play cabin girls. Keep it in my hand though. Hoping for a good Ubas level five turn. Ping him once. Bring him back to fourteen. Not that should even matter much. Boing boing. Right, he's playing this. Hopefully, no one mana. Green Proto. Plays it like this. I can use it for my Ubas, which is nice. And next turn, I have Kevin Girls and Gifted Recruits. This gives a round and red. Uh, if it was uh, hit the cabin girls, he would lose uh, his whole baseline. But now I protect my own baseline because he needs to go through this fella. So hopefully, it soaks it up. Cabin girls and gifted recruits and uh, remove his uh, him from my baseline. Ooh, collect the mirrors. Now I'm the happiest guy in the universe, I guess, because that's not scary. And if he's playing Collector Mirrors, then uh, I might get lucky. Sweet, so get up. Yeah, I think I have a really big chance that this is the final Brawl Heavy Metal match I will play this week. So I'm definitely gonna do it like this. I think it matters much, so I think this is better. So I have already Twilight Prowlers and Gift of the Wise for the next turn. Not sure if I want to cycle green prototypes, let's see how it goes. I think this uh, amount of uh, strength will soak up a lot of damage from my opponent. Even if he plays uh, Gift of the Wise. I might be in a very good spot. Give us a wise. Not even the best one, only left three. <coughs> so I'm really happy that I uh, denied his baseline. He has four mana left to deal ten. So this is already game. I got this one. Get the kittens. Because we have here our own sweet cap kittens on the kitten cam. And that will do it. This will seal the deal. I've won. I've reached 250 and higher. Or higher. Uh, 
crown. Ba -dam. 252. Won't get me on spot on the leader on the top three leaderboard, but that's fine for me. Like the whole point is uh, receiving these fellas. 200 fusion stones. Being here. Fourth place. But I think everybody except Amat is, uh, has been playing to uh, get a buff and get the prestige. Uh, for this I will really want to thank my parents who have supported me their whole lives. And also want to uh, thank uh, the whole country of the Netherlands for standing behind me and giving uh, a place for me to grow up and reach this uh, milestone. So that's super awesome. And I want to thank my, all my friends and um, for supporting me and believing in me that I can do this. And I also want to thank Lucia, just the little kitten, sitting right here. She's like the MVP. She, threw, uh, she made everything happen. And I just woke her up again. So uh, I uh, lost some karma points there. But uh, this will be it for uh, this uh, stream, because I reached the goal and the quest I will do later today. Uh, thanks guys for watching, if you liked it, then um, please uh, feel free to follow me, subscribe me. I'm currently on uh, Twitch and on YouTube, also on DLive and on uh, Mixer, just like it. I also have my uh, Discord channel in the description below, which you can join. And well, hopefully see you next time, make a comment, give a like. And have some fun with the next streams. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time.